Hi, now this is a nice example on sketching graphs based on functions, function notation, and it involves transformations of graphs. So you, you might like to read it through and pause the video at any of the questions and fast forward it to find the work solutions. Okay, well, what we've got here, anyway, is a sketch showing a curve with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals x over x minus 2, and x cannot equal 2. The curve passes through the origin here and has two asymptotes, y equals 1 and x equals 2. And what we've got to do then in part a is sketch the curve with equation y equals f of x minus 1 and state the equations of the asymptotes of this curve. So for part A then, to sketch this graph, what I'd want to do is to just copy the old graph down again. OK, there it is there. And we should just trace over this graph. I'll just trace over that in green. So we've got a graph looking something like this, OK? y equals f of x. Now, y equals f of x minus 1. You should know what this does to any graph. If you're unsure about transformations of graphs, you can always check this out on my website. I've got plenty of tutorials on this. OK, so f of x minus 1. What it does is it causes the graph to shift one place to the right. We call it a translation of one unit. So in other words, if I just take that graph and slide it to the right one unit, it's going to look something like this. It's just going to move, say, one unit like that. All right? So our asymptote, which was at x equals 2, has now moved one unit to the right. So the new asymptote is x equals 3. The asymptote y equals 1 is still going to be exactly the same. So if I just remove the old graph, we've got a new graph looking like this. The graph then of y equals f of x minus 1. This asymptote here still remains exactly the same, y equals 1. So hopefully, as I say, that will be your sketch of your graph. We've just taken the original graph and slid it to the right, translated it to the right by one unit. Now, in part b, we've got to find the coordinates of the points where the curve with this equation, y equals f of x minus 1, crosses the coordinate axis. So in other words, we've got to find this point here, here, and that's it. Now to do this, what I need to do is find out what this equation is. What do we get when we substitute x or replace x with x minus 1 in the original equation? Well, to do that, we'll just put down here f of x minus 1 equals. So wherever we see an x in here, it's replaced with x minus 1. So we're going to have x minus 1 on the top here, x minus 1, and that's all divided by this x is replaced with x minus 1, and then we've got the minus 2. And obviously if you simplify this, you're just going to have x minus 1 then all divided by x minus 3. So that's the equation then for the green curve. So when it comes to figuring out where it crosses, say, the y-axis, okay, then that's going to be when x is 0. So if we just say when x equals 0, what do we have? Well, we have that y would equal 0 minus 1, so that's going to be minus 1, all divided by 0 minus 3, so that's over minus 3. So in other words, y equals a third. 
So we've got it crossing at this point at 0, 1 third. Let's just mark those coordinates in there. Okay, I'll just put an arrow to that one there. That point there is 0 and then 1 third. Now we've got to get this point here and we can do that when y is equal to 0. So if we just say when y equals 0, what we have is x minus 1 over x minus 3 would equal 0. So you can only get that if the top is 0. So that must mean that x minus 1 must equal 0. And it follows then that x must equal 1. So the coordinates of this point here, just, just put, put a little arrow to it, the coordinates there are going to be 1, 0. All right, so hopefully then you've got those coordinates and that brings us now to the end of this question.